Hi, everybody. Welcome into another edition, episode 114 of the Lab Epstein Hitting Podcast. Thank you for joining us, as always, on the audio side, Apple, Google, Spotify, and of course on YouTube to watch the show, the Lab Epstein Hitting Podcast. Jake is not here today. Ep is at the Lab BCS in Texas. He's got some brewers things to do, but I did go into my little phone book from my time in the industry, and I reached out to a friend who is graciously filling in today, friend co-host guest i would rather call him co-host because of how brilliant of a mind he is throughout the game of baseball former st louis cardinals scout former pitching coordinator for the mets and current day university of missouri mizzou as it were uh pitching coach again a brilliant mind i'm glad to have him on the show please welcome ricky meinhold ricky how are you i'm doing well man thanks for having me appreciate it you said something, I told you this off off away from the microphone, you said something to me a couple of years ago that has stuck with me ever since. And when you were a scout with the Cardinals, you want, you told me that you wanted to combine grassroots scouting with analytics and data. And you're a guy that has a background in biomechanics and data. Um, has that been something for you still, even at your time with the Mets and now your time with Mizzou has that been something that you continue to strive to combine both of those two um, factors in scouting and analytics and trying to get the two to blend together yeah 100 percent. I think um, you're seeing obviously uh, in the world we live in technology and data is influencing everything we do and um, but this game is built on a foundation that hasn't necessarily changed in a hundred of hundred years. And so combining the two, like we were talking about, like maybe the athletes change, maybe the, the, the speed of the game might change, but what this game is built on, um, that really hasn't changed that much. It's just been influenced by things that make us look at it a little deeper or a little clearer or whatever. Um, I think the one thing is taking, taking what the world has given us and the technology that we live in in 2022 um, and the resources that uh, is implied to us, we can't not leverage that, right? Like you have to, but at the same time, you can't, you got to have a foundation um, of understanding like the deeper parts of the game from just a organic perspective. And I think for me, um, I think that is what I've been able to do in my career that has gotten me to do some cool things is leveraging both sides of the spectrum and being able to um, connect the dots um, in a lot of different ways from the person to person interaction to just the um, blend and the melding of um, both things I hold dear to me, like my, my gut, my eyes, my experience and what I've learned from um, very, very talented um, evaluation men in the game. Plus what I've, dove into into rabbit holes that are super deep um, yeah. on the analytical side. I think I have to understand that there's a balance and um, we've seen it in the game over the last 10 years or so people swing too far to one side of the spectrum and it's it not necessarily um, working out because they miss part of the boat. I think my, um, my challenge to myself and my strength that I do have is I, I see it. Um, I see both sides very, very well. And so um, I just try to um, continue to learn and experience um, leveraging both sides of that to make best decisions for our guys. Currently at University of Missouri, we just had, like, it's funny, like two days ago, I just had a huge science day on the field. We had a biomechanical <laughs> analysis. And so like, I'm, I went really far in the weeds on that side, but like I was evaluating on, without looking at a camera or, everything and so like today this afternoon i'm gonna geek out and and do some analytical stuff but um and biomechanical stuff but um my thoughts never my founded thoughts in my brain on the game are as old school as it gets so um it's fun to kind of navigate that 